Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4, Mewar, or Rosh Batana. Never changes, whichever you prefer. Uh, so I had a question, actually, about forming Rosh Batana. Somebody said, hey, why would you form Rosh Batana if you're going to finish the Mewar mission tree? Well, luckily for us, we keep the Mewar mission tree, so no harm, no foul. We're good. We continue as if nothing had happened, only we have better ideas to... Uh, to get us through it. So it's a little warm in here. I'm going to turn on a fan. So I apologize if you guys hear that. Um, as far as our capital, did it get moved again? It looks like it did. Where did my capital go? Oh no. What? I don't want it up here. This is crap. This is not where I want my capital to be. I'm going to pay to move it down again. I'm going to do it. That is poop. I do not want that. We're keeping my income. I don't care how many admin points I'm losing. That is not worth it. Regardless, let's see how our income looks in the monthly tick. Good. All right. So as far as getting our economy sorted out, what is it we need to do? Definitely could use with getting uh, that um, inflation bought down a bit, but that's fine. We'll worry about that later. We have good stab. We have good monies. We are working on spawning global trade. Um... It's tough. That's a cool looking Ottoman placement name. It's tough because we can't see the rest of the world. So we're going to have to just try to um, pile it on there, right? So let's make sure we are building up a few of these manufactories. And uh, really going to have to just make sure we're getting on that. As far as the mission tree goes, we need to conquer a couple more provinces from them we have permanent claims so it's not a big deal truce with you guys is in 92 so in the meantime we could totally attack timmy and mazderan will help so i suppose we might as well just do it right we have literally no reason not to we have claims on a couple of provinces over here but this is more about money as far as i'm concerned um i could get a little more trade power in the lahore region which we can eventually use to steer down here as we unlock merchants with our with our stuff, with our idea set. So I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna go for uh, Ghazni, Mazran. If you could be a punching bag for him, that would be great. And let's get you guys brought up here. Stagger them a bit, of course. There we go. As far as conversions goes, we don't have anything to really worry about. We do have some states available now. We didn't before, but we do now. So let's state this all up for free because this was all Punjabi land as well as we want to state up this province over here because it's really good, worth paying for. And that's it for that. All right, cool. Well, that's gonna help our income out a bit as well. 23, what is our, so 134 and 23 up to what? So gained like an extra two ducats a month. Doesn't seem quite right, but that's fine. Whatever. Anyways, let's focus on getting this stuff all wiped out. Gonna have to core up Doab, but I'm gonna wait until I get tech, I think. So we can stay ahead on admin tech. Uh, but Manas can hate me. I could not care any less at all about his opinion of me. So Timmy's got some men. So we need to be aware of that. What is our... Now that we've reformed... Or formed a new tag. Goodness. Oh, we have tech cost reduction as well. Ooh. We have a good ruler. I didn't even realize it. So let's see what our infantry combat ability is. I think it's just the 30 now. Um... The land fire damage is good. Um, so we're at 40 still. Okay. Integration of Perbius. Private to Marshall. So we still have 10% from something. Where? What is that? I don't know. Right here. So this is for another four years, unfortunately. I could probably... Oh, I could totally recruit some more Rajputs but I don't want to give them any more influence. Enlist these guys. We'll just give them autonomy. So I'll probably use that before our next major war. I'm not going to consider this a major war by in the slightest. <sighs> Timmy is literally no more. Ooh, I would like to kill your, your cavalry, please. Such a cool color Rajputana has. Um... We have 100%, 100% prestige, so let's do that. That actually lowers our cost of admin. That's pretty cheap. It's only 480 and it's two years ahead of time. That's nice. 
So let's get you guys over here and get you guys... Well, I guess we should split you correctly, right? So, you guys can come up here to Kabul. Could make our king a guy. We don't lose stab when we lose our king, so... Can we have another general? We can. Are we ahead enough? Oh, we're way ahead on mill, so... We will certainly enlist another general. He's got a... Oh, no. So, let's have you guys come over here to Merv and have you guys carpet siege down a bit over here. This, uh, being really far for the 20% reduction of, um, admin cost is pretty good. So apparently he has some rebels up here that we're gonna have to fight. It's fine. So the cavalry combat ability is pretty good. We have cav. That's pretty good. There must have been rebels on here already. Very good. Uh, let's get you guys down here. Is he a siege general? He is. And we will continue to siege over here. Belushistan isn't going to do anything, so we won that one. Very good. Let's get you guys over here to Bakara. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just got to systematically beat up on Tim Tim while he's getting while he's beating up on our ally, which is honestly ideal in my opinion. Gonna finish up coring all this land over here. So the major thing I want from you is uh oh we can't take his trade power because he's getting it from Belushistan, but we do want all of his money. Let's see here. Um 3.9 is pretty good. Two point five. We already have one in Thada. Three point nine. Okay. Just want to make sure that we're maximizing the amount of um, production that we're pushing towards here. What about over here? What, what kind of land do we have over this way? Oh, this stuff is all coring up, so. It's gonna take some time. As far as it, these go, we definitely don't need to be encouraging dev over here. Do we want trade in any of these? We probably wanna encourage trade over here. As well as Surat. But this guy, we don't need that. We could probably local trade here as well. It may not actually be worth. 43.5. Okay, now it brought in a couple extra ducats, so I must say work. So Mazdaran is just getting dogpiled on over here. We have some sieges that are done now. So as far as land, I only have claims on these three. I would like to get a little bit more. Um, let me see here. I want this Lahore trade node. So these are all states. What's the culture look like over here? So this is all one culture. Afghan, which I could probably embrace. So let's see here. How much would it cost for me to take this entire region? Oh, I could totally do it this war. Oh. Well, shoot. Well, I'll do that then. Because then we'll be able to core it just in time to start... Directing a lot of trade our way. As far as these buttons go, can we do these? 91. Some free money sounds good to me. Um, 75. It's pretty good. Um, I think I'll build it. <clears throat> When we win a siege of his capital, we'll be better off as well. Let's get you guys... Mm, let's get the cannons down there. I would like to get a little more. I mean, we're going to have to basically 100% him. So let's keep you guys over here. I do need to be careful from this Timmy army. They're going to be pretty formidable, so I need to be careful with them. If I really wanted to... Yeah, what I should do is I should go... Get a headhunter stack and start running around, wiping out Timmy's guys. So... Let's get you guys wiped out over there. 
I'm not sure where his big stack is. So Belushistan is down there. Let's get you guys spread out over here. Just there's Timmy's one of Timmy's stacks. They have a lot more men than that. Okay, here they are. So let's get them let's get these guys brought over here. So ideally he attacks Mazdaron in a bad fight. That would be the ideal situation there. So let's get on down here actually. Let's see if we can bait a good fight here. So let's let's take this one. Just want to avoid that monthly attrition tick there if I can. So we want to scorch this one. And then, hmm, I guess we can just come over here and take this. We can just break the walls there. We're really far ahead on mill, so it's not a big deal at all. And then we want to get you guys spaced out over here. So, Oirat is in this war as well. <laughs> Ew, there's some border gore for you, if you like border gore. White Rod is being eaten by other people, so it's not a big deal at all. Uh, I believe these are all level 4. Basically everything that we wanted to get upgraded, we did. I should probably build that one there that I had talked about. There we go. <clears throat> Trying to maximize my spending on... Um, Things, uh, what are they called? Manufactories. So let's get you guys over here. Get you guys over here, and you guys over here. This has been a good war. Two years, and we basically full occupied him. So we'll take tech there. Force March is going to be really useful. Especially whenever you pair it with um, things like this, <clears throat> where you scorch the earth, and then you can force march in from farther away. Alright, so let's actually see... Hmm... Speaking of force march, I could probably catch up to him in the desert here. We can now get trade efficiency, which will increase our income a bit. Uh, so let's see here. Can we catch you guys in some ideal... I think we can catch that 14 stack. Very good. Take a river crossing, but it should be no problem at all. Very good. And then up in Kabul. I would rather not chase him into the mountains. But I will, and it'll be a quick stack wipe, so it doesn't matter. Yep. 600 people. It's fine. We will take that attrition tick, but it's fine. It's fine. All right. Um, so now that he's all carpet siege down in the north, let's get these guys grouped back up together. Have you guys split and come down here. And uh, have you guys come over here to bomb. Or bam, or whatever it's called. Let's convert some provinces. The whole country needs him, or... Chitor gets local defensiveness for the rest of the game. Half off guy. Sounds pretty good. I think he's already half off. So I will uh, take the local defensiveness for the rest of the game. Okay, very good. And so we get an, a merchant on our next idea. We're actually cutting it a little close for what I would, what I would be comfortable with. If I wanted to... I could like take less money and peace out right now. But I kind of want to ruin him. So speaking of that, let's see how many loans he has. 11. Not too bad. Not too good either. Stack wiping his army doesn't help. Oh, 
Would rather you didn't do that, ma'am. And uh, let's get you guys down here. Siege down some more of his lands. Let's go ahead and breach that wall there. <sighs> Blue Shistan will peace out pretty quick. the uh, king on there. Kazakh Separatists up here. It's fine with me. That land does not appeal to me. We are ahead on time, so let's go ahead and make that our core. Oh, I missed him. Let's go ahead and get you up here. Uh, nope. We don't need the money that bad. And uh, we lost our dude. Well, we definitely... Do we have any cheaper guys? Doesn't appear like we do. Well, let's see what we can do from our estates here. National unrest. No. General, no. Yearly inflation reduction, no. So it looks like we don't get anybody from our estates that's going to be any of any use. So... Mm, I need a level 3 guy. Preferably one that I can upgrade if I so chose. Let's get you guys over here on his capital and get you guys carpet sieging down here. Get you guys down here. We'll get that piece very soon. If I pieced out Belushistan, I probably could get it right now. So, there we go. That's our guy. Very good. So, we are taking this entire trade. No, I don't need that province right there, though. Or... I have a claim on it, so... Might as well, right? Our AE is pretty ridiculous. But it's fine. So, if I don't take it... Have them revoke a couple of cores for prestige that I don't need. Eh, I'll just take it. It's fine. And there we go. That is our uh, new name placement. Looking good. We have literally no admin, so you'll have that, I suppose. Um, they have separatists now. Let's get over to um, preferably a province where we can stand. This is Drylands up here, so let's get you guys up there. And then let's get you guys joined up down in the south. We have truces with literally everybody in India. Hmm. Well, I suppose we can just have them drill over here in like Lahore. Let's get you hired up and then let's just speed five it for a minute. Get everything uh, cleaned up. I'll wait till I have the points to core up Kabul. Wait. We need to control it. Oh no! We have rebels. You sons of guns. And we lost our dude again. Land maintenance at a level one. Sounds good. Save me some more money. Let me stack up monies. Um, I suppose at this point we might as well just, you know, smash it all in there. Our income is looking very good. Okay, this is all going to be super rebellious. I think that goes without being said. Very good. Have you guys drill. Should probably have you guys cover that state as well. Not that it's going to do a whole lot, but it might push back the rebellion a couple of months. Um, Orissa, I get Diplo rep. Cost to fabricate claims. Yeah, Rajput's going to have some influence. I don't mind. There we go. We're looking good. I think we might be the number one. Yes. Look at that, baby. Number one world power. I love that. And we aren't even to absolutism yet. You gotta love that. Alright, trade efficiency. Very good. 
So 49 up to a little bit. Three prestige. Sounds good. We're about to get our next merchant <clears throat> here in a couple months. Oh, sorry. I bumped my microphone there. Let's build a couple more of these guys. Get that production efficiency up. Suppose I can just click the button there. Fine. Matter of fact, we're way ahead. I do need to core this stuff up though. Right. Probably should get my overextension down, though. <laughs> As I'm sitting on it for months, not coring it. I'm sure people are just screaming at their computer. Fix it! Good. Let's get our uh, transfer trade from up there. Give us a nice little boost to our income. Very good. We have lots of money coming in now. And where else could we be transferring from that we need that we're not? Bengal has decent money in it. <clears throat> go make sure we're getting all that we're still drilling not everybody but most of our army we're gonna have rebels over here soon so we're gonna have to address them but after we do that we can uh, then drill that army our truce with Arissa is up gonna end up needing more land from them in the future so I'm not gonna worry about it I will build some spy network on you so I can get a couple more claims <clears throat> Yeah, we're not going to be able to get this until we get that. And then grant five centers of trade of at least level two to a couple of people. I can get to work on that right now, I suppose. So we need level two centers of trade. And we have a few of them. We definitely can get some more, right? That would help out with our steering. So let's go ahead, boost up a couple of them. That's a lot of money being flown through there. Um, they're in there. And then since these are new states, we can give those to you. Very good. How many more do we need? So that's good. That fulfills that. This one is just uh, own and control all this land over here. And then uh, level three center of trade. Oh, it's going to move my capital back there? You sons of guns. Why do you keep moving my capital? I wish you could opt out of that. <laughs> oh, shoot, man. It's fine. <laughs> we have innovative, so we uh, we have the tech. We, we're ahead of time on basically all that stuff. So, ooh, a half-off Diplo guy. Is he a correct culture? Afghan. Not worth. Uh, yeah, let's get a little bit of extra trade power there. Sounds good to me. Excellent. Multan. Oh, goodness gracious. We got a couple of good ones up here. Um, wow, we are very ahead on mill, so let's go ahead and dev some mill, I suppose, right? Look at that. All those clicks, and we're still not even close to uh, being bottomed out there. Maximizing our manpower a ton. Still have a decent amount of trade leaving the node. We can build a couple more of these guys, so we might as well, right? And we should also probably max out this, so we will. And with this, we can also use these guys to uh, transfer more trade from here. Or if we want, if when we're able to, we can transfer, get more trade power over here to transfer more. Because look at this, there's 10 ducats that are just staying in that node that could be transferred over our way. So we'll get on that, no problem. So some Afghan separatists. Get you guys over there. Get you guys joined up with them. Very 
good and get you guys home. I guess I can just take you guys down somewhere where you'd be a little more useful, like down to the capital. Oh wait, no. Need to finish this trade ideas. We're gonna finish it probably in the next couple of years, so we'll get it before global trade spawns, which is perfect. So our trade steering is looking good. And we still not got... Man, I would really like some tr na Not knowledge sharing. Uh, maps. If I can get them to like me, I might be able to get them to share with me. The Janagar. Ooh. Ming is, you know, doing Ming. Said internal conflicts, I believe. Let's get a claim here. Oh, we lost our claim here? Oh, we have a permanent claim there. Very good. All of that is now cored up. Timmy is exploding rather beautifully. I don't really plan on uh, expanding up here anymore. It was mostly just, uh, see Punjabi isn't even an accepted culture. And that's a huge chunk of our culture there. It's a bummer. Um, so they can gain some loyalty for some monies. Yeah, it's fine. I'll take a loan out. I don't care. Um, actually... Very good. And we can do a couple more dev clicks. There we go. Almost about to hit a 100k manpower cap, which is super nice. So our general is dead. But it's fine, because we have more. Alright, I think that's a good place to end it. Timmy is <laughs> getting eaten by Kazakh, if you can believe that. I don't even know where Kazakh is. Oh, right here. So they're both beating up on each other. Arbadil is uh, beaten up on Timmy as well. Ottomans are a curvy boy. I need to get some map sharing over here. I don't think it's going to happen though. Let's see if I can make them friendly. And then uh, eventually... Ooh, free loyalty. Thank you. Very good. All right, cool. Yeah, sorry guys, that's going to do it for this one. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying, and if you are, show your support, leave a like, helps a ton. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, and if you'd like to support us on Patreon, or um, check out the Discord, the links for those are both going to be in the description down below. With all that being said, this is Chewy Shoe, and I will catch you guys later. Big special shout out to my awesome supporters on Patreon, Corbett Gaming, Classified for Life, Lemongrass Bob, Bloodbound92, Lambda Driver, and Damian Hartvig. You guys are awesome. If you guys want to check out some other series we got going on on the channel, they're going to be linked over there on the right. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you guys later.